Hello, my name is Dan. If you do not know who I am, or if I have not made myself known and apparent, I am a guy who enjoys playing Duel Links. Now, I've made a video before to Konami um, from basically the fan base's standpoint, where I talked about um, basically how the game wasn't rewarding and there were some other glitches and things and it looks like Konami responded to that video so I'm making another video to talk about a, a problem that I think is an actual real problem in this game that you know I didn't necessarily notice last time or last month but ever since you changed your requirements for rank battle removing King of Games, or I'm sorry, pushing pushing King of Games high up, higher up on the ladder, and then adding the Legend rank. Um, I, th I think I think you may have made a fundamental error um, in your in your actual like leveling. I'm not necessarily sure what's going on when it comes to connectivity issues and things like that, but I'm going to talk about some things that I really believe to be reasons why you should either fix or modify your current r ranking system or change it back to what it used to be because there 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 these are some critical issues that I really want to talk about now I didn't catch all these things on video of course because I wasn't attempting to but you know maybe if I wait a little while and I sit and record video maybe I can catch a few of these on camera um, or maybe I can go back but something I point to more recently I was playing ranked I was leveling up I was in platinum leveling up from platinum and I took a loss because I was disconnected now it's a funny meme on my channel but now it's become more than a meme to me at least because that's happening all the time it's not the first time that's happened to me, but it's the first time it's ever happened and I caught it on camera during a live stream. And I find it ironic that I sit down to make this video and the first thing that pops up is test your skills and rank duels and you're gonna give 100 gems for some sort of mission for doing rank duels. And, and this is ridiculous. Now I understand you added the tickets to um, to basically encourage people to play ranked duels but unfortunately i don't think that it's truly worth it given what your what problems you have here so the first problem i want to talk about is time limit losses now a lot of people say that time limit losses happen when um someone is hacking from the other side like i'm playing legitimately through the app like, like as you can see i'm playing on the phone right now you know i'm playing legitimately in the app you know this is a cell phone but I have a phone here that I use to play dual links that all I do is play dual links in order to minimize disconnects I need you to understand that I do this Konami I go out of my way to minimize disconnects because when I play dual links it, it like I don't have a lot of time so so the so the games that I play when I play I have to be very selective and strategic so right now, you see I'm playing with the, the phone in airplane mode, connected to Wi-Fi, okay? Airplane mode, connected to Wi-Fi, there's no SIM card in this. Everything is turned off on this phone. All this phone runs is dual links. As you can see, there's nothing else running in the background. If anything else is running in the background, is this app here, which is my Google Chrome app, which I use to stream the footage from my phone to the... Um, to the Google Chrome app. Now you might wonder, maybe that's having some sort of interference, you know, and I would say, yeah, gr granted, that could be potentially a reason why I'm being personally disconnected and receiving time limit losses. But um, I don't think that that's necessarily the case because when I play this game, I do not play it connected to my computer all the time. I play it just like this, disconnected from everything, connected directly to Wi-Fi, and, I'm not receiving, I'm still receiving disconnects. I'm still receiving these time limit, these miraculous time limit losses um, while I'm playing the game. Now, I want to point out again that the time limit losses, a lot of people are saying it's happened because hackers are hacking the game. If that is true, 
Konami, could you please give us an update on what you're doing to stop hackers from hacking the game and delivering time limit losses or basically selecting God hands? What are you doing to stop people from doing that or playing with fake accounts? What are you doing to stop that? Like I've been virtually silent when it comes to that issue, but there's something that needs to be done. The time limit loss thing is my hugest issue and I'm, I'm just, I'm so irritated because the reason why I was losing on my legend two and platinum rank up, there is times where I've lost because I've made misplays or I wasn't playing with the quote unquote best deck. But then this particular season is the only season that I've actually really tried to go to king of games. Last season I wasn't really trying, I was just kind of casually playing. This season I'm actually trying and the amount of time limit losses and the amount of uh, disconnect losses that I received that actually ranked me down and puts me back into the pool, it, I, I don't get a chance to rank up and that's unfair. And the reason why I'm saying that's unfair comes to my last and final point here is unfair pairings. So if I am a platinum one or a legend one, I should be only dueling other legend ones or other platinum ones. But Konami, as I told you before, I was playing through your game and I am at legend one currently. As I'm playing through your game, I receive multiple disconnects, time limit losses, especially when I'm poised to win. Getting a disconnect and a time limit loss and then, the, and then it results in a loss and ranks me down is unacceptable because I have created a deck that has devastated the meta. It's extremely effective, but I refuse to play this game over and over and over and over and over again to an endless point when when there's literally going to be no end except for the luck of a draw and that's not how it was before before there was a skill let a skill level set a bar set and you can pass the bar and you are king of games but co but going for win streaks is not going to necessarily say that this person has skill or this deck is a good deck because when someone is playing on a win streak it is luck base you know for me to win eight out of ten games or nine out of ten games yeah my deck could be devastating but then someone else makes the same kind of deck and will lose because they will get disconnected they will lose because they're getting time limit losses and they're being paired up in the ranks now I've said all that and I've neglected to show you what was going on in my rank battles because I wanted to, to prove it to you here. So when you hit my rank battles, what do you see? I am legend rank one and to, and to rank up in my legend rank one, I had to defeat someone in king of games. And, and I'm sorry, cause my next match should be a rank up, but I had to defeat someone in king of games. I've had to defeat someone in legend three. I've had to defeat someone in Legend 2, and I've also had to defeat people in Legend 1, obviously. So you mean to tell me that it's fair that someone in Legend 1 has to play people that are already at King of Games level for them to level up in Legend 1? That does not make any sense. And not only does that not make sense, it's discouraging and unfair. So, you know... I'm not necessarily trying to level up and, and, and rank up anymore. I like, I'm like, I'm pretty much done with rank mode at this point. I will not spend my wheels and waste my time here in this mode. This is absolutely ridiculous because between the time limit losses, the disconnect losses and these ridiculous pairings, even though I'm winning, even though I'm winning, that could have, could have just went the other way, you know, bad luck, you know, one more turn. You know, I went second instead of first. Who knows? But that could have obviously went my other went the other way. But my point is, as a legend ranked one, why am I playing red legend ranked twos, threes, and king of games? And in the order of legend rank one, your very first match is going to be a legend rank two. Okay, that's fine. Maybe there wasn't any more rank ones available, so they gave me a rank two. That's fine. Okay, did you did you defeat the legend rank two? How about a legend rank three? Oh. Okay, I guess they're really stressed for legend rank players. Maybe there's not enough legend rank players. 
How about a king of games guy? The guy's done with the ranking system already. Yet he can challenge someone that is currently trying to rank up and knock them down. That doesn't make any sense in terms of like ranking. But, you know, I'm going to have to just leave it with that. I want people in the comment section to let me know what they think. You know, you know, I, I do joke a lot about being salty and this isn't about salt. You know, this isn't about, you know, being angry about a loss or saying, oh, you're not good enough to do. No, this isn't about that. What this is about is clearly there is a fundamental issue with the servers, with hackers, and with being unfairly paired with different people that are either hot that are higher ranked than you when you're trying to rank up. Unless you want it to just be a battle royale. If that's the case, then there was no point to increase to put the legend rank here. Because by putting legend ranked here, you all the only I, oh I, I see. You might have put legend ranked here so that you could increase player time because you probably saw that a lot of people came on the King of Games and just stopped playing. So if you put the legend rank there, well, no, this is a this is a theory. This is just a theory. I'm not saying that you did that, but this is just my thought process. And if 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 that's what you did, that's fine. That's fair. If that's what you did, that's okay. You put the legend rank in the place of the king of games because you wanted people to play the game more. You wanted people to put more time into the game. If that's what you did, that's absolutely fine. But my only issue comes with being unfairly paired. I will play your game and play within your pen and, and continue to play the game and add more time to the role. But if I'm legend ranked one, I want to play legend ranked ones. If I'm legend ranked two, I want to play legend ranked twos, maybe threes. But if I'm, you know, going to king of games, I should play king of games and legend ranked three people. That's where it should be. Maybe just one level up you play, not the entire level of the game. Like, come on. This is insanity. This is I'm legend rank one, and I and I just defeated a two, a three, and a king of games back to back. I'm just I'm flabbergasted with with, with this whole situation. So so I, that's that's it, guys. I'm I, I that's that's all I want to do. I just want to share this because I'm very passionate about Yu-Gi-Oh. I love this game, and I want it to continue, but. Practices like this will make people stop playing. If if I was just some kid, I would it like I wouldn't care. Like I would want to play rank mode, but it's like if this is what happens when I get to uh, legend rank, <laughs> and I, and I'm constantly losing, and but I can never fall out of legend rank, so I'm always gonna be at legend rank one because I'm getting job by dudes from King of Games. You know, it wouldn't be worth it for me, and I would quit. It's, and, and, and I'm and I'm only I'm only saying that because you know you're asking people to pay money into this game. I've put money into your game, so I feel like I should have some sort of voice. You know, I'm putting money into the game, and I'm and, and I'm putting my time into the game, making these YouTube videos, marketing and advertising the game for free. So, yes, please fix this because I want this game to last.